Hey, Muffin here again. Welcome back to the channel. Subscriber request for mouse and grill. This is just the grill. I've already done one on the mouse. Uh, I have compiled a tips and tricks playlist. So if there's a tank or aspect of the game you're struggling with, shoot over there. Maybe there's a vid I've actually already done or created that could help you out with the game, but diving right into the grill. So looking at the grill, it's a tank destroyer. So you constantly want to be putting yourself within radius or um, positions to be constantly supporting your team, thinking about and ways that you can be that support as your team is moving about the map, as your lights and mediums are positioning themselves to spot, um, as your heavies are moving up to side scrape, being on the front lines. Um, <laughs> hopefully, if you don't have like a complete noob team, that's all AFK standing, uh, just sitting at the base. But as you'll notice, I'm putting myself within a radius, kind of a center radius or circumference of where my team is. So I've noticed we've got my medium over on the right. I've got my team over here on the left and I can support each or either one of them, depending on where they are. And I'm being very conscientious of what's happening. So <laughs> I do actually run into a, a bit of RNG is not necessarily in uh, on my side here with these uh, first few shots, but I'm trying to play that supportive role and position myself the best I can for my team and just different aspects, providing either that suppressive or that um, supportive fire um, from from that angle. So, and I'm not completely tunnel vision. I'm com I want to make sure I'm paying attention to the map. I also want to make sure that enemies are outside of the range of being able to spot me, as that would put me in a very bad spot. Any potential areas, you'll notice after I had took a couple shots at the beginning, um, and there was that FV medium that was a little closer to me, I thought would have actually got me detected. And if that would have been the case, I wanted to immediately roll back and get inside um, behind some sort of cover. So I'm looking over, seeing if our, our med up over there on the hill needs support. I'm constantly looking over to the left and see if there's ways that I could also provide some sort of support. So the thing about the grill is not only in terms of the positioning, but you also don't really have any armor um, whatsoever. So you constantly need to either be using your camo or the landscape as much as you can to protect yourself. Use the landscape as your armor or dead tanks or whatever. So now here I'm moving up and being a little aggressive. And in some of my previous videos, I talk about there being a difference between camping and being an effective sniper. So this is being an effective sniper. Camping is not something you want to do because what camping is, is sitting in one place the entire game and just waiting for targets, even though there may not be any targets within range or there's really no way and from where you're positioned that you can really support your team. Now, <laughs> I underestimated um, or I kind of misjudged that wall and building right there and I ended up getting hit. Um, but trying to use the cover, basically the concepts there. And even when moving through the landscape, the grill doesn't have a lot of gun depression. So even on top of using the landscape, I'm moving up from point to point to point in areas that are secure, safe, getting that cover behind buildings, um, and just finagling or kind of making my way up through to get more advantageous positions and shots on those enemies. As I'm using judgment calls based on where my team is, where the enemy is, who we've spotted. And so constantly putting yourself, I'm once again putting myself in that supportive supportive role to try to help my team. And so the grill, like I just um, like I was mentioning, doesn't have a lot of gun depression. It has some, but not much. So trying to keep it a little bit more on flatter ground helps out quite a bit. So if you're trying to get shots off enemies, you don't want to be trying to come up and over steep slope or hills because other tanks that have great gun depression, you're going to be putting yourself in a position to face their strengths where gun depression is your weakness. So constantly putting yourself in a position to maximize your strengths and then exposing the enemy's weakness. So 
here I'm kind of looking at the team lineup. Um, they had gone kind of back and forth on which direction to go. And as a glass tank destroyer, some initial places, even to help increase your camo efficiency, uh, this may seem like 101, but going behind bushes also helps increase your camo. So I've noticed my team going over here to the left. I'm really trying to pay attention, look for ways that I can once again fulfill that supportive role. So as a grill, I'm not playing in ways of like a light tank. I'm not moving so far up to the point where I'm trying to spot because that's not my strength. Um, light and medium tanks have a way better view range than I do. So I'm just keeping my eyes open. I'm paying attention to the map. I'm not tunnel visioning and completely focusing on that Sheridan, but I am also kind of looking out, trying to use my third person view. And as something like a glass cannon, even as you're moving up, making decisions, using that third person view before popping out and moving around corners can really help you too. So I see this um, Yagaru take a shot. I immediately want to get back because <laughs> once again, the landscape is my armor and I don't want to be facing him because he could definitely take a chunk out of my life um, if he uses that HE around. So, but even during this moment, I'm paying attention to that Yagaru. I'm listening for when he takes a shot because just then he took a shot. He was totally exposed. And I knew after that shot was taken, his reload. So I was able to pop out safely, take that shot. And I knew just from kind of moving down a little bit before um, that it, you know, I was able to get that shot off. So I moved up. I didn't want to just stay in that one position, but now I've moved up to try to get myself in another supportive, advantageous position to support my team. So I'm constantly, as my team is moving, as the enemy is moving and things are changing, depending on what's happening is how I wanna try and change and position myself on the map. So if my team is moving up and I'm kind of moving with them, staying in the center of that uh, um, radius, so to say, of where they're advancing and supporting and trying to be that uh, effective sniper, um, I don't want to just sit in that one place because if the team continually moves up and I'm staying there and there's no teammate on the right side of me, I could have other medium tanks spot me, put me in a bad spot. So constantly moving up, using the landscape, you'll notice I'm staying very close, uh, using the walls. And that's something for anything that is, even like most tanks you play, using the landscape um, is something that can really, really help protect you and really give you those advantageous uh, shots. So um, just two games here. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. The grill is really an incredible tank destroyer. Um, this is the muffin here. Stay cool and keep tanking.